The purpose of this video is to explain how to uh, design or create a schematic design of an elevation of a building uh, using a um, 3D visualization software. Okay, so this is the uh, program that I use to um, design uh, or envision my designs. Uh, and I certainly stop paper uh, schematics for my design of the exterior elevation of buildings. And uh, this one's called SketchUp. You probably heard about it. I think I've used it in one of my, my tutorials over here in, uh, in our EDT 320 class. Uh, so I've been using SketchUp maybe in, for, since 2002 or 2003. Uh, Google bought it in like 2006 and then Trimble uh, is the current owner and they bought it from Google in like 2012. Okay, so uh, I do have a version, uh, uh, a paid version. Uh, if I open that paid version, uh, it'll start my um, SketchUp. And this would be my version of SketchUp. Um, and this is a, a pro version. You can see all these uh, SketchUp models I created for our class when we were discussing about the elevations. Okay. Um, and if you um, are planning on uh, or thinking of using SketchUp, uh, if you wanted a pro version, uh, I guess you could, you could see that there is a version that's free. Um, and then the SketchUp Pro is, is what I use um, in uh, in my uh, in my designs, in my classes, um, in my personal projects. Okay, uh, so yeah, um, let's try the free version. Uh, so if you want the free version, you can just go to uh, Trimble's, uh, and then you can click try SketchUp, um, and you can. Uh, try the SketchUp uh, downloadable version for 30 days, okay? Uh, yeah, or you can uh, use the SketchUp free, totally free version, and it's a uh, web-based or browser-based uh, SketchUp. Simply click Start Modeling, and um, your browser will try to initiate uh, a sequence where you start up. Um, and I've done one in the free version using my uh, Sun Shadow. So if you want to use it, uh, you can click uh, Create New One. And this guy here will pop up uh, on the free version. Um, on my version, on my free version, uh, it looks different. Uh, every version has a totally different person. So if I click on Simple here, my SketchUp Pro uh, will open up very similar to this one. Uh, and then I would have a uh, a girl model here instead of uh, of that guy. So, uh, and it's a another window that that pops up and you know uh, just minimize this one. So this would be your free version of your SketchUp. And um, the first thing you you probably want to do is go to your AutoCAD and uh, go to your first first plan first floor plan. Okay, and then uh, do a preview. Uh, and you may you may want to get a copy of this one so you can snip it and snip a copy of this floor plan. Okay, and then go to SketchUp and then paste it there. Okay. Um, if it doesn't want to paste, uh, then you need to go to your go to your snipping tool and you actually have to save this file. Okay. Uh, save this file and let's just save it to the desktop. Uh, save it to the desktop and we'll just call it, you know, first floor. Okay, one is T and then click save. Okay, and then go here. And you basically wanted to import that picture from your device. Okay, and then click my device and then go to your desktop and then find uh, your file and then simply click image and then you can. Paste the image anywhere you want. Okay. Now you can immediately zoom, uh, but we're going to do it in a different way. So just zoom out and click that one. And basically, what you uh, oh cancel. 
what you wanted to do here is you want to measure this and you you know that from our property our property here is 40 feet okay so to do that um you click on this measuring tool okay measure tool and then you click on the start of your image it's going to be here and all the way up to here you click that and then it'll tell you that that's only 19 feet so what you do is uh you immediately type in or zero feet and then press enter and it should ask you a question okay uh if do you want to resize the model and you simply click okay and it should scale up so the next time you measure from here to here it will say that it's around it's 40 feet okay so that's that's your first step uh, and then you can pan it i think you hold the middle button i don't know you just press your shift key or press your shift key middle button there you go shift key and middle button to pan all right once you have done something significant make sure you click save on sketchup uh it'll ask if you want to purge some components yeah so just purge all and then where do you want to save uh, i'm going to save on sketchup and you want to give it a name so you want to call it maybe scheme one and just click save here okay so um First thing that you want to do is maybe create a floor, uh, which is the outline of the building on the ground. So click um, this way, and I'm redoing this because uh, my first one, the computer, bounced out on me, and it didn't save my work. See, this one keeps on popping up, and and there you go and it'll close up for me and then you can still see it from where is that from the bottom you can still see that there okay okay uh, let's just save again i don't want to lose this um anyway um <clears throat> so once you have that then i can uh, pull up this floor uh click and then drag up and then type in 14 feet from the floor to floor and that's my first floor i wanted to do again another floor so i can press my control key uh and that, that you would see now there's a plus sign that appears there every time you press control key there's a plus sign control key plus sign is pierced control key plus sign appears so click that one because you wanted to make another 14 feet and then one more time this time you just wanted 12 inches there you go Okay. Um, so we're not going to be particularly uh, going, to, going to model the roof. Uh, we just wanted to concentrate on what it will look like from the front. Uh, and as you can see here, here is the the um, uh, main entrance here. So for the main entrance, you can look up uh, a um, component or you can draw it up. Okay. So if you want to draw it up, I can certainly just go and go seven feet. And go across horizontally and click anywhere, and then start again from the bottom. Go up until I get to the blue line. Uh, make sure you get use the blue line, and it'll intersect. And you can now uh, erase. Uh, where's my erase tool? Where's my erase tool? Let's click on erase tool. There you go. Okay. And then what you can do is you can get their push and pull, and you can push it a little bit, uh, and then get your line again and a line uh, going up and that's going to be your door okay so you can do it as um, uh, like that one or uh, you can download a a um, a door from their 3d warehouse uh, let's see i think this is just 3d warehouse where's the 3d warehouse over here okay 3d warehouse is this icon over here you click that and then uh you certainly just accept whatever they want you to accept and then you can type here uh double door so double door okay and then you can select a double door from their models over here okay so um you can pick uh, any double door that you want uh, and you can click on this one and it will download it onto your model okay and you click it anywhere first so that you can remove any um 
uh, additional additional things that's on dub so we double click and then if i don't want this particular uh poster here i can certainly select that and then press delete and then right click and we're outside and click close component and that's giving me a double door this double door is facing the wrong way that's the inside of the door so what i can do is i can uh, select the door and then find here take this icon this one's rotate and then simply click on the uh, floor and then click on one side the red side and then i can do a 180 degree rotation okay and click on the pointed arrow or press escape or click anywhere uh and that's going to be uh the outside of the door okay um so you can now do a move so select this tool click this uh icon and switch to move it's some getting used to and then um click on this corner over here and then maybe uh drag it with this corner and then select your move again and then drag it to wherever that's supposed to be okay so you can inspect uh, where it where that's supposed to be uh if you want it flush then you go ahead and flush it and just um and that's certainly wider than what you intend to do uh, and you can always uh, use the scale here i believe there's a scale so the scale command is going to be under this move icon or rotate icon you can switch over there and the scale is this one here okay um, you do want to select first the object you want to scale so select and we're outside and uh, make sure you select that object and then you put a click on the scale and these things will appear you want to select on this middle button to hold it down and uh, so you can change it uh, the width uh, and you can also change the height this way but i think we're good now and so there's your door and all you do is cut the wall to accept your door to cut your wall you just have to go and let's just save first uh yes purge all and then click the line tool and then click here and click up here and then click down here and then down here again now it's cut now you can sort of select that front face and press the delete key and there it is okay so you can select uh, or you can select a, a 3d warehouse uh, object from this location over here <clears throat> and the same thing if you wanted to let's just click save here and if you wanted to what's happening you want to put like a whole um uh, uh storefront you just you can find find one uh, and that's called the storefront. Storefront is like those glass facades. Okay. Um, and you can find one that you like over here. Okay, so you go to uh, models and try to find the uh, a storefront uh, that matches the color of the glass that you have. Okay, so you have uh, you have the glass over here uh, with a lot, sort of a gray colored uh glazing on it we're trying to find that um i go into models and then find something that suits that color otherwise it'll totally look different um maybe this one will suit less so just click download and start putting it here and then we can do an immediate rotate uh with rotating at 90 degrees okay uh, in this case, uh, it seems like they do match, okay? except that the color of the frame doesn't. Uh, so you can double click this and then uh, go and use your uh, materials. Uh, where's my materials here? I believe this is it. And then uh, select some materials in the model now. I think uh, this is the material that we're going to do. And Put that material onto your frame. I think you need to double click it again. There you go. And select the material. And put that in the material. There you go. Just to match the uh, object. And don't 
make sure you don't put it on the glass and you're only putting it on the uh, the mullions. Okay, and when you're done, you simply right click and close the component. There you go. Go back to the select tool and now we can grab that and um, remove that from, let's say, Let's place it just on the this corner onto the face corner of our building. There you go. And then we can use the uh, scale tool to adjust the uh, size. And you want to always select the middle portion over here. Okay. Uh, if you want to stretch it horizontally or vertically. So maybe up to that point over there. And then select again the middle one. I want to stretch that. Now, this is the floor line. Uh, and typically, if there's a wall, there's going to be a beam running across. So we can probably uh, hold it up there. Okay. And if you're satisfied with that one, then uh, we can go ahead and cut the wall. Uh, if you want to edit this moyen over here, uh, double click. And I think you can still pull that down. And see if you can pull that down unless you want it on that side. Okay. And you can also make a copy, okay, by pressing your control key. There you go. There's a plus sign now. And then select one of these dots over here, and then you can bring it up. Make sure that you're on the blue axis, okay? You don't want it that way. You always want to be on the blue axis for vertical. There you go. And then simply right click outside and close component. Right click and close again. There you go. Yeah, so that's how we want it. Uh, and then we can now um, push it back. So just hold it with this dot here and push it back to the wall. Oh. We have to select the this component first and then click move and then point here and move it back. And then we're ready to now cut the wall out. So we simply click on this. And click on this corner here, and then go and click this corner here. And then simply go and go to this bottom corner. There you go. Once it's uh, once you created that uh, three corners, you can select this middle one and then press delete on your keyboard. Now it's sort of part of the building. Now, once it's part of the building, you click on it. And if you try to move it, it'll sort of destroy, uh, it might destroy the building, okay? Um, so make sure that it's not to it's uh, a group. Uh, anyway, let's undo. Uh, you, I wanted to copy this uh, opening here and put it, put it on top. Uh, let's save again. Yes, purge all. So you wanted to save as much as you can. So let's say you want to copy this one. Simply select this one. Click the move uh, icon. Press your control key. Oh, there you go. As long as there's a plus sign on the on the move key plus there you go and it will copy it so i want to copy it from here and i want to move it up to this point here and then i'm going to go ahead and again trace the uh outline of the wall surrounding that uh um this the uh storefront Certainly there is a little learning curve here that you need to operate or know how to operate uh, SketchUp. Okay, there you go. Uh, just do another save. Uh, it all depends if you want to put a window here. Uh, certainly we can do that. If you don't want to put a window here, certainly you can do that too. Um, if you want to put like a, a canopy, then you have to find uh, a canopy here for the, for the entrance, okay? Uh, by going back to your SketchUp uh, 3D warehouse. Let's close this. Oh, looks like my browser is dying on me. It's now uh, stopping. It's waiting for a Trimble connection. So if you wanted to put an entrance canopy here, you have to go to your 3D warehouse and type in uh, canopy, press enter. Uh, we can go to products or we can go to the model. So you can certainly find something like this that you want to put in. Uh, from their products or models, and then you can browse through, and you typically you'll see something uh, like this one is the same. So let's say I want to put something like this. I can click download again, 
And then I want to import uh, they saying something like it's going to be too big. And then you can select or input it somewhere. Okay. And if you want to abandon that, simply just delete and then go back again and uh, type can be and then select again. Uh, say I want this class entrance over here. Click that and click import. Is the warning says you select the large model, which means slow down SketchUp because you're using SketchUp for free and it's not an app on your uh, computer, so it might take a while to to upload. Um, that would certainly be uh, a difficult case when it comes to it. You can see here it's now like waiting. It's waiting now on me because um, if it's too big of a file, okay, and that's the problem with the with SketchUp for free. Uh, I never got into this problem uh, because um, I did. I do have uh, the pro version. Anyway, uh, let's go back again. Click and type in canopy. Find something um, smaller uh, that I can work with. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's better to go here. Models and uh, that's a big canopy. Okay, maybe something like this. Maybe this is simple enough. So click that. And then uh, I'm going to put it somewhere on that wall and then just bring that down. Uh, maybe match, match that. Um, bring it bring it up a little bit. And then move it to the side. You can see I'm clearing, I'm steering away from touching the model. Uh, and if you wanted to adjust that, then we can play again. We'll need to uh, use the scale and under the move in scale. And then you want to select this middle thing here so you can scale it correctly. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to not touch any corners so it matches. And you can just view from the inside or outside or something until you, until you can get it to the correct uh, size that you want. There you go. Okay, and then simply click outside, and that's that's just my that's just my canopy. Once you have something uh, significant, you click save, uh, and then you just click purge all. So delete everything that you put in that's not important to you, and then you may continue. And maybe you want to also work on this uh, side uh, side. If you want to put some window here, then you can probably you know start work on this side too. If you want to work on this side of the um building and you want to put a uh, little glass on it you can simply again use this uh storefront and then we're going to copy again um this one here pressure control to make a copy and then we're going to make we're going to make a copy and just put it anywhere because we're going to rotate that one uh, rotate it here and then here and click this and then rotate we go, and then we're going to move now again. We're going to move, um, and let's move again from the inside corner to this corner over here, and then simply just move this and just move that horizontally, like that. Now, um, if you remember our sun and shade study, that there's a significant sun go in this side. And so we would probably want to reduce this window as much as possible. So uh, for my design, I don't want to see that. So I'm going to just scale this maybe half the half the wall length. There you go. And if I don't want this uh, too much of a division on my window, I can uh, double click. And then I can double click again and then simply uh, delete this, but when you delete that, you see that this other wall here deletes also, because these are what we call um, they're like blocks. Okay, so if you don't want that, certainly undo first, and then I wanted to uh, select this and right click, and then I want to make this unique. Once it's unique, I double click. And then I can now uh, double click and click, click again, and it should not be. Oh, this one's still highlighting. So I think uh, I have to make this unique. So that if I 
wanted to uh, double click that. There you go. Make me come on, work on me. Okay. I think it's unique now. Double click. Don't click. Select that. Don't click. There you go. It's now it's unique. So I'm going to delete this. This one. This one. Uh, well, I can delete that too if I want. So I'll just leave that there like this. And then simply right click outside and click close component. Okay. And now I'm ready to push it back. So I'm going to go back, click, and push it back to the wall. And then get my line tool and then draw a line around that window. So I'm pressing my shift key to pan and the middle button. And again, you there's a learning curve. You need to learn if you want to do it this way, but we're showing you. Um, I'm ready to select and then press delete on your keyboard. And there's my window. Okay. If you want to do the same window here, then certainly click on this one, select move, and then press your control key. And then you simply select from the top corner here to the bottom corner here, and you can create the same copy. And then, but it won't make the hole for you. You have to redo the hole, the cutout on the uh, on the wall. So select that, select this, and then go down here, and then go down again. I'm done. Select this. Select this. Press delete. There you go. Okay. Again, something significant. Click save. All right. Uh, next, you can put in some architectural elements. Uh, this window, the sun is always shining through here, so we want to limit this window and maybe create some architectural elements that blocks the sun. Uh, so let's try to do that. Now, to make a balcony, um, you do want it to again um, create a box on the floor. Uh, let's do a rectangle first and then raise it up a little. And then select everything here and make that a group so that when we move this thing wherever we want to, it's not actually going to touch the building and we can move it out without damaging the building. Now, what happens when we don't do this, uh, the grouping thing, let's say we just try to create something here. Okay, so you can see this one now it gets filled. And then uh, if you wanted to, let's say, uh move this out of the way is you can't you're gonna you're going to um destroy the geometry of the building because now it's since you didn't make it a block see how it's now destroyed right you don't want to do that so that's why uh this the technique is to make some make a box and uh make it a group you know position it wherever you want to okay oh. that's really neat just uh we now have to edit this group and push that back to wherever size and see like that. Okay. And then uh, we want to bring it to a distance that matches our our proper line here. So pull it down and then just go and match this corner here and go. It, it should match it really quickly. And then now you could sort of go through and make a balcony up to that one and that's going to be your balcony and then when you're done you simply close your group and that's going to be your balcony and to get that you may have to create a door here uh and then what about the railing and you save this first just like we did before we can um go to the sketchup 3d warehouse and Type in railing or balcony railing. Let's try railing first. And then you can select whatever railing you want. Uh, let's say I wanted to select this kind of railing. I can just download that and put that wherever I want to. Let's see if it's flipped. I think it's flipped. Does it look like it's flipped? Uh, yeah, I think it's flipped. So we need to like rotate that one. Select somewhere here. Oh no. Select somewhere top here and then make it rotate 180 degrees. Make sure it turns into the red uh, axis. There you go. 
and then just move into place. Okay. And then we want to just make copies of this one. So press control while you're moving and then select this corner. You don't want it to select it there. You want to overlap them like this. So it becomes like one whole piece. Okay. Press control again. You want to overlap again. Press control. You want to overlap again. You may need to adjust that last piece there. Either you adjust the railing or you adjust your balcony structure. And I think I just want to double click this and I just want to maybe match this one to be flush with this one or take it out because uh, I want to turn. I want to turn 90 degrees. So right click and oh, close group. And what I wanted to do is I want to select this and make a copy from here to somewhere here and then do a rotate and then rotate on the ground and i wanted to rotate just 90 degrees so i want to work on a red axis where's my red axis come on there you go red axis i click that and then i switch to move and i wanted to select this corner and maybe put it here or at this corner and put it over there there you go okay it barely touched that, but I think I can get away with that one. So now I want to double click this balcony and push it back until it's flush with this face. There you go. And then uh, we can do the same thing here um, on this side, okay? But uh, I need to talk about first uh, firewalls. Uh, so uh, let's do and talk about firewalls first. Before that, let's quick save. Now, according to the building code chapter 7, fire and smoke protection feature 70511, parapets shall be provided on exterior walls of building, and then here are the exceptions. And we have to find whether our buildings are uh, exempted. It has to do with materials or area building or anything like that. But if we do are going to provide a parapet, Parapet construction must be the same for assisted rating, and the height of the parapet shall be not less than 30 inches above the point where the roof surface and the wall intersects. It must be extending by 30 inches. So if that's the case, and when we go back to our uh, model, this is our model, then we do have to extend this 30 inches on, on this side. Um, okay, so let's do that. So let us now create a parapet here, and um, you might run into some um, slowness with with the with your model, especially once you've inserted a lot of these um, a lot of these uh, components here. So let's do the parapet from this corner. I drag and I uh, go to the right and type in six for six inches. It'll automatically stop at six inches. I click on that point and then I simply go onto the green axis and go to the very, very end. And then we're going to now pull this up and the parapet height is, plus control, is 30 inches. Put 30, press enter, and that's the height of our parapet, okay? I'm just going to click save right now. And then I'm going to work on the wall from here down to the blue axis. I'm going to press my shift keys to maintain that axis and does it, it remains on that blue axis and click on the very bottom and then use my push pull and then pull this out up to uh, this corner and this one too pull that out Oop, i dropped it pull and match this corner over here there you go um so yeah so i if i wanted to fix this this issue here let's fix this first pull that out up to this corner and pull that out up to this corner there you go. So uh, that's a, a fire and safety um, wall uh, that extends 30 inches whenever you are touching a, another property line. Okay. Uh, now let's fix this over here. It's it's now inside that wall. So I'm going to select and then select all these. Press my shift key to, mul to select multiple times. Press select, select in this corner over here. Select that to not this corner. This line got selected, so it turns blue. Anyway, go back here, click remove, 
And I'm going to move this uh, outside here. There you go. Now I fix that end. I have to now fix this end over here. So I'm going to double click this block and then pull this out. And oh, I need to double click this block. There, there you go. Select, click, and then match that. And then right click and close. There you go. All right, so that's basically how to uh, visualize or create a 3D visualization of the elevation uh, of your building. Uh, and I'm only uh, designing the front elevation and then the back elevation. And if you wanted uh, another canopy here, then you're certainly welcome to put another canopy here. Uh, you can build your own, you can download the canopy. If you wanna just build your own canopy, you can certainly just, again do the same technique that we've been doing, we start with the rectangle on the floor uh, and then pull it up a little bit. And then simply double click it, right click and then make it a group and then move it again from this upper corner where do you wanna put it? You wanna put it up here and you can certainly do that and put it up there. Now you're ready to double click this and then use your push pull to pull it at whatever length you want, okay? And then pull that to whatever length you want. Okay. There you go. And then simply close the group, okay? And we don't, you don't need to put in this furniture right now because you're only, you wanna concentrate on the look of the building from this side. And you've already started on this side, but basically those are the two sides that's most interesting to the building. So you want to visualize that one. Let's save this again. And uh, yeah, um, you can go to just the front view, I believe by clicking on just that, this one over here. Yeah, so you can click this one and it'll just go to the front view. And if you click on um, this one here, oh no, this one will go to the corner uh top view rear view top view here rear view here front view here uh left view oh this one's left view there you go so those are the view but it's always viewed in perspective okay so if you want if you don't want to see this perspective mode you simply uh click on this one and then that's that's the actual elevation okay um this is the floor the ground uh, and that's the elevation of your building. And this is a wall where people can probably put in their uh, their logo for their uh, cafe. Okay. So, uh, but that's mainly how to use uh, SketchUp to visualize your design. Uh, and um, it it is certainly something that is not part of of our class, but want to share this with you. Uh, have fun doing it. It does require a lot of a lot of time to do uh, and then there's a learning curve if you haven't used this before you will need to learn how to use it um, using some youtube tutorials and when i say youtube tutorials you know you can just go to youtube and um let's pause this that's my you can put in sketchup tutorials You'd find some instructions here. But again, uh, like I told you, the, the SketchUp that I used to show you is, is the SketchUp, the free version, okay? Uh, there is a paid version, much more efficient. You can do a lot more things. It's not as slow because it doesn't run in a browser. Okay, so anyway, you can uh, you do your uh, your schematic just by drawing, and that's fine. If you wanted to do it that way, that's fine. You can use your tablet too. Uh, and certainly you need more time to do it on a computer. And that's why uh, we don't want to always do it on a computer. We always want to do it first on a sketch. The sketch is just a scheme, okay? But some people, uh, like me in this instance, I wanted to see my, uh, my drawing or my visualization using a 3D uh, visualization tool and SketchUp fits the bill, okay? So uh, that's actually going to be the next assignment that you're going to do is turn in a uh, 
schematic of your elevation. Okay.